Hi everyone, me Adijit with a new video and in this video we are going to talk about how you can boot your Raspberry Pi from a USB drive and here the USB drive basically means you can boot it from a pen drive or a hard disk or whatever USB drive you have. So let's get started. Now for this video you just need a Raspberry Pi, a pen drive or I mean whatever USB drive you have and a memory card. Now you just need the memory card for the first time boot only. From the second time you don't need any memory card you can remove, remove it from your Pi and your Pi will automatically boot up from the USB drive. Okay so at first we need to download few files. So uh, we basically need to download the Raspberry Pi OS and also we need to download the our uh, win32 disk imager so that we can burn the raspberry pi image in the pen drive so you can uh, go to this link uh, this link i will provide the links in the description so at first you can download the raspberry pi image from here so this is the official site of raspberry pi from there you can go to raspberry pi os and then from here and from here you can download any of these what whichever you want so i generally use this one raspberry pi os 32 with desktop but you can use any of them whichever you like so this is the first thing you need to download so i have already downloaded this one so i'm not going to download it again and the second thing you need to download is win32 disk imager so this is a very small tool and uh, using this tool you can burn the image in the usb drive or even you can uh, burn the image in the uh, memory card also so as you can see from here you can download the disk imager so i think the link is here so from here you can download it now i have downloaded both the files so as you can see here um so here i have downloaded these two files now we need to unzip those so at first let's unzip the winter 2 disk imager and uh, now we need to install this Now it takes really small amount of time to install. Now we have installed it successfully. Now we can open it. Now uh, we need to unzip the OS also. So unzipping the OS takes little bit more time. So here I am uh, fast forwarding this video. now we need to select the os file from here you can simply go to that folder where we have unzipped that and we can select it and then we need to select the our pen drive so i have already inserted my pen drive now we just need to uh, select it from here and then we can simply click in the right now this step going to take a lot of time depending on the speed of your usb drive and another important thing is that here I am only installing the Pi OS in the USB drive because I already have Pi installed in a memory card so which the memory card I was using previously but in your case if you doesn't have a memory uh, Pi OS installed in your memory card in that case you also need to uh, follow the same steps for your memory card because like I said for the first time boot you need the Raspberry Pi OS installed in both of your memory card and the usb drive that's why you need a memory card where your pi is installed okay so now as you can see that uh, it has burned it successfully and now you can see two boot folders in my pc because i have also inserted my memory card here the memory card where my raspberry Pi os is installed and uh, there will be two boot folders and doesn't matter which boot folder is for which card or usb drive because in both files we need to edit a single file so there is a file in the boot folder called config uh, this config.txt so you need to open that file and you need to go to the end of the file end of this file and at the end you need to add a single line okay so you need to add this line i will add this text in my video description so you just call you just copy that line and then you paste that in the end of the file and then you just save it okay and you need to do the same thing for the other boot folder so you need to do the same thing for both the memory card and the usb drive okay so uh, this is another boot folder 
So basically this line will tell your Pi that you need to boot from the USB drive, not from the memory card. Okay. So this is the only thing you do. So you just edit these two files and that's it. And after editing these two files, you are good to go. So we are now ready to boot. So let's just uh, take this USB drive and uh, memory card from our PC. Now here I am going to insert the memory card in my uh, Raspberry Pi, also the USB drive. Uh, in my case the pen drive and then I am going to connect the power cable with it okay so now this time it is not going to boot into the USB drive it will boot into the memory card for the first time and from the next time it will boot from the USB drive okay so this is a very important point that from the first boot from the first boot it doesn't knows that you it need to boot from the USB drive so it will still boot from the memory card and from the next time it will boot from the USB drive automatically okay so now as our Pi is turned on, we can boot into it and as it is my previous Raspberry Pi OS, I can SSH into it because I had SSH enabled in my previous Pi OS. Okay. And as you can see, I can boot into it easily with my previous credentials because like I said, for the first time, it is going to boot from the memory card, not from the new is newly installed OS in the USB drive. Okay. So like I said, so this is my old uh, Pi OS, not the new one. Now, if we reboot our Pi and this time if we just uh, just uh, take off the memory card from the Pi, then you will see in the next time the Pi is, will be boot from the USB drive, not from the memory card. Okay, so let's see. Now this time I am going to unplug the memory card from the Pi and then also I am going to attach a Bluetooth mouse into it so that I can control it and also I am going to connect a HDMI cable because this time I am going to boot using uh, using my HDMI cable and a display and now we can simply power it up now again you can also use SSH for this so in that case you need the SSH stuff so you need to add that SSH file in your Pi so I'm not going to that complexity and simply I am booting using my HDMI cable so after powering it on we will see that uh, in our display we will see that the pi will be pi will boot within very few seconds we will see that the raspberry pi will boot and this time it is booting from the usb drive because i already have unplugged that uh, usb drive from the raspberry pi so for the first time boot it will take some time so we need to wait for it So as you can see, it has booted and I think within few seconds, we will see the Raspberry Pi home screen. So as you can see, it has booted properly and this is the new OS. So as you can see, there are no files to the desktop. So this is the new OS and we are booting from the USB drive. And from the next time, we will always boot from the USB drive. And, uh, and if you want to just don't uh, want to boot from the USB drive and want to just boot from your old uh, memory card, in that case, you can simply uh, edit the config.txt file again and remove that line we have just added. So in this way, you can do all these things. And this is all about this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if so, then please hit the like button. And for this kind of more videos, uh, subscribe our channel. Also, if you need any kind of help, then you can also follow us in our Facebook and messages there. So thank you and see you in the next video.